Hi, uh, Martin here, and thank you for joining me for Turner's Journey, episode 64. I hope you're all well and you've had a fantastically busy period um, up to today, which, uh, which is, what, the 23rd of December. It's been, a, it's been another busy week um, in the workshop this week. Um, I've managed to turn a few Christmas presents for, uh, for some people, and I've managed to film the project video as well. It is late, so it probably won't be available to view until tomorrow, which is Christmas Eve. Um, and I'm quite excited about that. It's, um, it's quite a bold project, um, possibly a bit of a Marmite thing. Um, some of you are, are gonna love it, others perhaps not quite so much. Um, on looking back over the videos that I've posted from the new workshop here, um, there have been a couple of uh, issues with um, sound level, which I'm slowly kind of working out. So hopefully, this is okay, and also the project video is going to be okay too. And also in the last couple, I've noticed that it's been a little bit dark, um, just a just a just a tad dull. I mean, it's nice and bright when I'm turning and using my eyes, but looking back at it through the camera, it's a little bit on the dark side. Um, so I've put up another rack of spotlights, and I've now got ten. Um, really bright LED spotlights up above the lathe and pointing in various directions around here. And hopefully in tomorrow's project video, um, you'll, uh, you'll see the, the difference and how much brighter the, uh, the picture is. And then on Tuesday, I did some training, I did, did some teaching here with uh, a lovely chap who drove all the way down from Coventry uh, called Brian Jarvis. And Brian is, a, is an avid supporter of the Black Dog Workshop. And um, he made this for me out of Corian, um, which in the new year I'm going to put on the front door to the new workshop. And uh, it's, uh, it's the logo, and it's, I am absolutely chuffed to bits with this. Thank you, Brian. Uh, he also made um, this clock um, and another clock as well, one of, which will go in, um, one of which will go in the workshop here, and I think the other one will go in... Um, in the office down the house. Uh, and he also made me um, some of these, some of these little um, inserts as well. Um, so I can put them in the bottom of bowls and stuff like that. So Brian, if you're watching, thank you very much indeed. I really, really appreciate that. Uh, now, that's it from the workshop um, for this week and uh, Turner's Journey episode 64. I'll be back again next week for a bit of a review of 2016 and uh, some of my highlights um, from, uh, from the workshop and projects and stuff like that. So in the meantime, enjoy this next bit and I'll look forward to seeing you again next week. Bye for now. Right, so here it is. This is about as Christmassy as I can get, wearing a hat and sitting next to um, an open fire. And uh, I would just like to take this opportunity to wish you all a very, very Merry Christmas. And I wish you all the very best for the season and a very prosperous and uh, creative 2017. So without, <laughs> without further ado, here is um, my slightly altered version of the night before Christmas. And the words are written just down there, so I'll be just reading it, kind of. So, <laughs> towards the night before Christmas, and all through the shop, not a turner was turning, not even his mop. The face shield was hung by the tool rack with care, in hopes that Saint Nicholas soon would be there. The headstocks were nestled all snug on their bed, while visions of a thousand RPM danced in their head. And Mama in her dusk mask and I in my smock had just settled our brains, for it was gone nine o'clock. When out in the shop there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. Away to the door I flew like a flash, tripped over the dog and the window did smash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my watering eyes should appear, but a scroll saw sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles his courses they came, and he whistled and he shouted and he called them by name. 
Now Robust, now Vicmark, now Myford and Rockler, on Comet, on Cupid, on Jet and Powermatic. Sorry. <laughs> to the top of the porch, on the top of the wall. Now turn away, turn away, turn away all. As dry blanks that before the bowl gouge fly, when they meet with an obstacle, jump off to the sky. So off to the workshop, the courses they flew, with a sleigh full of tools, and St Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pouring of each little hoof. As I walked to the shop and was opening the door, through the window St Nicholas fell to the floor. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his arse, and his clothes were all tarnished with splinters and glass. A bundle of tools he had flung on his back, and he looked like a turner restocking his rack. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old turner, and I laughed when I saw him, because I'm a learner. A twist of his wrist, I knew I was in luck, soon gave me to know I had a new chuck. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. When the tool rack was filled, he turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside his nose, sneezed on the dust as up it rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy turning to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed for watching. I wish you all a very Merry Christmas and the very best of the season and, as I said, a very happy, prosperous and creative 2017. I'll be back again for Turner's Journey next week um, with an overlook of um, the year and what I've, uh, what I've been up to, as it'll be quite nice to have a think about that as this has been a monumental year, uh, monumental year for me. So thank you very much. Merry Christmas, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.